on our members. Adrian Kamodon Jenga's petition had ignited a fresh round of political fireworks with the judiciary seemingly yet again under siege. Njenga had invoked Article 251 of the Constitution in his attempt to push for the removal of Chief Justice David Maraga for alleged gross misconduct, integrity questions and inefficiency. Those who are coming in, please quickly take seats. By the petition was dead on arrival with Speaker of the National Assembly Justin Muturi dismissing it. It's a long shot, pedestrian and engaging in a fishing expedition. Njenga had also trained his guns on Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu and five Judicial Service Commission members, urging Parliament to initiate their oster for alleged failure to institute disciplinary proceedings against judges alleged to have flouted the Judicial Code of Conduct. He had also accused the Commission of bias, gross misconduct, incompetence and victimizing some judges. It does not state with a degree of precision the provisions of the Constitution or any other written law that each member of the JSC is alleged to have violated. The petition earlier seen in the context of the Jubilee administration's threat to fix the judiciary after the Supreme Court nullified President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election in the August polls. This one has nothing to do with the, the famous quote of revisit. It has nothing to do. When we intend to revisit, we will intend we'll revisit it with serious petition. You know, researched. Mr. Speaker, Article 119, much that it says that every Kenyan has a right to a petition. It should not be very good to leave it the way it is, Mr. Speaker, for people to come and abuse that right, Mr. Speaker. You cannot say anything about the judiciary now in this country for now, Mr. Speaker. You'll be told, oh, you want to finish the judiciary? No, but that does not give them, Mr. Speaker, a blanket immunity or amnesty, Mr. Speaker, that those shall not be said anything about them, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> While the country's top judge, his deputy and five JSC members can breathe easy for now, Supreme Court Judge Isaac Lenaola says the petition was not a coincidence. But in fact, we know the agenda. The agenda is to remove the JSC, which has the chief justice and deputy chief justice. Once they are removed from JSC, they automatically removed as judges and as chief justice. So the agenda is longer. Hakuna inchi ambayo inaweza kuwa eh, kuwa na is, ambayo haina uhuru wa mahakama ambayo inaweza kujiita demokrasia. Francis Gashuri for the big question.